Hey, hi everyone. Today's question brings together some facts about random variables and the computation of the expectations and the variance of a linear transformation of random variables. So I'm given three variables, binomial, Poisson, normal, and then we're asked to find the mean and the variance of this linear transformation of those three random variables. Let's call that x, the new variable. Let's just recap some facts about the mean and variance of the of the, the variables. For binomial parameters n and p, the mean is given by n times p, and the variance is n p times 1 minus p. That's something you can memorize. Some of you might have to prove it. For the Poisson with rate par parameter lambda, the mean and variance are the same. It's lambda. Did I say mean and variance of the mean and variance of the variable? Yeah is the parameter lambda. For normal, I don't really like his notation, unfortunately use n, usually we use, let n stand for the uh, distribution. Anyway, so that's why I've written full normal here. n is normal, those are the parameters mean and variance, so that's the mean and that's the variance. Okay, let's do the mean. Okay, the mean is given by the expected value of this thing. So let's just recap fact. So let A, B, C be constants, B, P, N, R as given to the random variables. Then expectation is a linear operator. In other words, it's equal to the right hand side. In other words, like taking the expectation through the bracket and the constant comes out through the expectation. Okay, so I've simply substituted for the numbers, which I've written down here. So the answer is 5. Next, the variance. For that, we need the rules of the variance operator. OK, now here's the variance rule. Importantly, the right hand side holds. Because we are using this, we're told that the variable is independent. If we were not, it would not be true. There would be other terms in this expression. But if you're doing a first course in statistics and you've got three variables, most likely, very most likely, you're going to be told that the variables are independent, otherwise you're going to be stuck. OK, so I substitute the numbers in, and the answer is 52.65. Not much to say, except for let's have a look. Uh, this, remember, variance is non-negative. So our number is not negative, so we've got to sta we stand a chance of being correct. If it was negative, you've done a calculation error. Now, with this kind of stuff, the error to make on the variance is easier than on the expectation. Let's look at where you can make an error here. Look, the variance of this has got a minus here. But it, it's the ver what, when you take the variance through, it's additive. So it's add, we add, even though there's a minus here. Okay, so we'll add here and add here. If you tr try to put a minus here, you're going to get a negative answer. Then you know you've made an error. On the right-hand side, it should be a plus. It doesn't matter if that's a minus and that's a minus. They're both pluses. So it doesn't, in other words, it doesn't matter whether you're minusing here. It's always additive when you take the variance through. Okay, guys, and um, that's about it. So share, comment, like. See you on the next one.